rings and other jewelry with the artist's custom-made miniature themes, bags and backpacks made of ecological leather with a variety of ornaments, Ukrainian masters who work side by side and consider the whole internet their vending table. UATV looked into the Young Family Gang, where they produce accessories for handmade connoisseurs from the whole world. When in the late 1980s, American scientists created the first public internet service providers, they could hardly imagine that 30 years later, in 2017, every tenth purchase of products in the world will be made through online trading. But who exactly are these buyers? It seems that the answers to questions lie on the surface. The fact is that online stores on the internet are mainly used by women, and the world leader in this sphere of commerce is the United States. Of course, it is impossible to find out the gender of each customer, but user surveys showed that men spend an average of 28% more money on online purchases than women. Although traditionally clothing and footwear are in first place in terms of current online sales, home electronics have taken second place, and online books are in third place. The average age of a customer in online trading is 25 years and most likely this person used a mobile phone to interact with this store and lives in China. In 2017, this country overtook the United States and today holds the leading position in e-commerce, since the Chinese made almost half of all world purchases online, to the tune of an astounding $900 billion. Experts forecast that in 2018 the total volume of Internet commerce may exceed $2 trillion and India will be the most rapidly developing market in the coming years. Today's social networks allow you to integrate into a huge environment with any single master who produces something interesting. But it is necessary to take into account that 93% of users make a purchase having been impressed by the appearance of the product, and if they don't like the purchase, half of the consumers will send feedback to their closest friends about the negative experiences. Only one mention of a poor quality product and the reputation of the manufacturer in the all-pervading internet will be tarnished. This pair of young masters from Ukraine knows quite well how difficult it is to earn an honest name on the internet. We both engage in handmade items. I make bags and backpacks from echo leather using a variety of ornaments. These are mostly tapestry fabrics. I make jewelry from wood and epoxy resin. I also combine them with metal. While in general, I try to focus on using metal in my works. Ruslan Yakovets and Darina Poroshchin are partners in their business and in life. They rely on mutual recommendations so that as many people as possible are able to access information about their specialized form of work. Some people saw the bags and asked about how they are made. I told them that Darina makes them and she got some orders. They also saw my rings that Darina was wearing and I got some orders. So we began to realize that this is a great business and is our future. Why did two young Ukrainians decide from the outside set to build a career of their own production. How does jewelry with miniatures appear and why are Echo leather bags so special? Further in the program you will have the chance to watch a full coverage and overview of the success of a couple of masters of crafts that work in their workshop in Lviv. In times when people were attached to their village or city for the rest of their lives, the masters pass their knowledge and skills on to the children. For many generations, dynasties of embroiderers, woodcarvers and folk artists worked in different parts of Ukraine. The existing structure of arts and crafts was destroyed, first of all, by the Soviet Union, where the uncontrolled masters were united into cooperatives and already in independent Ukraine, with the flourishing of free enterprise, the business, most often unrelated to manual production, could become a family business. In the 21st century, with the lightning-fast changes, it is difficult to expect that some business will become relevant over the course of generations. Ruslan Yakovets, even in his 20 and a half years, became disenchanted with the craft which he learned. In essence, I am a blacksmith. That is, I thought I wanted to become a blacksmith. I worked in different forges and after school I went there to work and master my skills. It was very difficult and often I came home very exhausted. Of course, I sustained some injuries on the job. And then I realized, after the third workplace, that this profession was not for me. Ruslan doesn't deny that he acquired useful knowledge and skills, but most of all, he was not satisfied with the poorly paid and ungrateful work 
of a young specialist in local enterprises. The student had no idea what to do after graduating from school, but he had already met Darina at that time. Everything started with a romantic gift for her. I wanted to give something handmade, something original, and I decided to make a ring. I saw the photo in the internet, but I didn't understand at all and did not know how to do it. It turned out so primitive and even funny. I think that there are good prospects in any industry. As a matter of fact, I bought my first sewing machine in my third year and really wanted to learn how to sew. I thought of making a backpack for myself, and when I started looking for the appropriate design, there was not a single one that I liked. And actually, this is where it all began. Darina wanted to reciprocate for her first ring by making something pleasant for her young man. It was a backpack for Ruslan, the most important result of my hard and heartfelt work. I sewed it from felt combined with leather, which did not require very dense materials. When Ruslan was walking with this backpack, everyone took notice of it and became interested, asking, where did you get your backpack? It has a very aesthetic appearance and looks very comfortable. People use the term word of mouth, while marketing experts call it organic coverage. Anyway. Ruslan and Darina were inspired by their first trip to the Lviv design market, where their jewelry and bags were in huge demand among visitors of the market. We realized that working for someone else is not something that we would like to do. Moreover, working for someone is difficult. It is much easier to work for yourself, as you control the process and the quality of your work. Firstly, we like our business. Secondly, it began to bring in some minimum profits. Therefore, we almost simultaneously began to work this way in order to develop of our business. Two young masters for the first time invited the TV crew and show UA TV how everything is done in the workshop. How it is done. Ruslan and Darina do not have enough time for leisure. They wake up, have breakfast and start their work. A weekend for those who focus on the Internet audience is rare for them. There are always orders that need to be fulfilled. Ruslan's work is endless – the rings, the pendants and the earrings. Each decoration begins with a wooden template or billet. Mostly, these are Ukrainian species of wood – oak, beech, ash, pear and bog oak. My grandmother told me that there was a river in our village with a bridge over the river. I found it, though actually it was the remains of the original river. I found one pile and chipped away from it a few pieces of oak. It is very difficult to work with this black wood, as you can damage the tool in the process. In such cases, Ruslan goes to the carpentry workshop. Regardless of the type of wood, the main thing is to break it down into the proper form. I take the workpiece, for example, some large flat one, and simply split it apart. Breaking in half, you can see what kind of scrap remains. If it doesn't fit, then try splitting it again. Scrapping is a different process. The wood from just any tree in the mountains will not be suitable for a ring. There must absolutely be a pear tree. This is the only tree with such interest in scrapping as it truly looks like the mountains. Snow is an acrylic paint applied to scrapping with a dry brush. In the center of the miniature landscapes, there are often flowers, which Ruslan must glue to the base of the jewelry. Meanwhile, Darina is designing and putting together her next handbag using her favorite material. This is an echo leather, especially for footwear. That is, it is frost-resistant, withstands the sun's rays and does not lose its color. The usual leatherette, which is used for furniture, very often, as it can be seen in various places, cracks, and there is a difference in thickness. The fact is that the echo leather is thick and maintains its original shape. Simple leatherette is thin enough for this. 
Echo leather is an artificial material of the new generation. The well-known Echo leather is made of polyvinyl chloride, applied to the fabric and it does not let air through. At the base of ecological leather is polyurethane, which is not only much stronger, but also allows clothing to breathe. Finally, it is just more pleasant to the touch and is available in any color. Darina buys material online from trusted suppliers. In the same way, Ruslan receives the main distinctive component of his designer jewelry, epoxy resin. Today it is used in almost any industry, from aviation to the production of souvenirs. Everything is due to convenience. It is possible to cast any form with a liquid resin, almost without heating, and then just add in a thickener. While experimenting with the material, Ruslan discovered an interesting effect with the air. The epoxy penetrates the wood and bubbles come out of it. If a tree is very porous, those bubbles come out for a very long time and quite intensively. Within three hours they can go out, but during the same three hours the epoxy starts to harden and then the bubbles don't completely rise to the surface. Ruslan says that in order to create the same aesthetic effect, the denser wood has to be heated. The master covers it with a special mixture based on wax. Epoxy hardens in a few hours and then can already be processed. Although this material is transparent, it is very hard and does not crumble. Previously, Ruslan sawed templates for earrings with a hand saw, but with the increase in the number of orders, he bought a jigsaw. He drills the hole for the finger in the ring in his carpentry workshop. In the same place, he grinds an epoxy part. By manual work, it took a week to make one ring. Today it takes only two days. In addition, you can make the whole order simultaneously. The work of Darina, with handbags and backpacks, on ready-made patterns seems easier, though in fact, this is not the case. With each model, there is a series of prototypes. You need to master the material, and if they're ornamental inserts, you must assess what they look like to the human eye. Here I have, for example, a handbag, which I last produced. This is the fifth of those that I have made. They were made of felt, as a first-time experiment. All the materials and works had to be tested, and this one isn't a perfect model. I understand that the next handbag will look the way it should. I always work in the process of trials and experimenting. Developing a new model to make it only once makes no sense. Darina has three handbags for each one that is ordered. If the rhythm of the work of Ruslan is set by epoxy resin hardening, then for designer handbags this is drying glue. I glue some parts, such as belts and covers, so that everything can be perfectly soon. It takes two to three hours of my time. When I start the day, I carve out the parts that I need to glue together and then I glue them. It takes two or three hours for them to dry. I also work with other details. Well, two or three backpacks can be made in a day, if no one disturbs you. This means that three or four handbags can be made in a day. Also, you need to make photos of your own work, offer it to one of the local showrooms and, if necessary, personally deliver it to the customer. When you work on the online market, you have to forget about the weekends and try to promote your product all over the world. Once I sent an order to the Czech Republic, these were two backpacks and a handbag. A man ordered a gift for his wife, and once I sent such a gift to Slovakia. If I send any of my products abroad, these are some small lots of jewelry. Such parties were sent to London twice, then once to Almaty, Kazakhstan, and another time to Germany. Now we're sending our goods to Tallinn. This is for the showroom, that is, in the shop. This is not a private order. The experience with metal was still useful to Ruslan. He had already made a ring from bog oak with his silver inset and plans to experiment further. Darina is always working on new collections of handbags, keeps up with the latest fashion and doesn't limit herself to ornaments. At the same time, both these young masters in 2018 still continue to study at the local Academy of Arts and improve their skills. But what will they do when their products become very popular and they will be forced to produce more?
will the joint Lviv factory be created to meet such a high demand? I think that it is necessary to open rather a workshop, because some factory does not offer creativity, as its operations are far too mechanical. Our factory works at the same level as some kind of mass market, and we would like to preserve certain individuality in our products, so that this would not be a mundane process of stamping. Perhaps this is just the start for their family atelier for the 21st century, which will focus on online trends and deliver from Ukraine to the whole world accessories made with the heart, soul and their own hands.